W's Tim Gordon is live at Southwest 13th and Market. Tim, the new video we have of this crash is just incredible. Yeah, it really is pretty amazing. I'll show you exactly where it came from. It came from the camera that's right inside this apartment building here, and it shows a wall of grain busting these windows out, knocking a man right out of his chair. Uh, but first, now the commuter news, this intersection, 13th and Market, it was closed since yesterday afternoon, reopened where Highway 26 traffic flows into downtown. Good news, it's open. But now take a look at this video we just got of the crash. Uh, this is Ken Bradley. He's just watching TV yesterday afternoon when out of nowhere, the grain busts through the window and glass and grain knock him over. What a shock. Now, he's a little banged up, but okay. Outside, it was a grain truck that somehow crashed at the intersection and rolled over. Grain everywhere, traffic signals down, traffic being diverted for what turned out to be more than 12 hours. Peabot knew it would have to work overnight to fix the signal lights, and they did, opening things up at 4 this morning. But again, what a shock for Ken Bradley to be hit by all that grain and glass. He told me he was sitting in the TV room watching Miami Vice when it happened. But we fell in, we grains fell in, and I got my head cut. Yeah, a little cut right by the side of the eye, but he's okay. Nice man to talk to us about it. And you can see the TV room's still a mess. There's still grain in there. They had to bring in, like, industrial sucker machines, big trucks, to haul all the grain out of inside the building. So just an amazing thing that this happened at this intersection. Thankfully, Ken not badly hurt, and also, thankfully, uh, the intersection's open for commuter traffic coming in from the west into downtown this morning. Ladies, we'll send it back to you.